Welcome my grand dolls back to my channel. So today we're doing a little assumptions video as well as letting you guys know what the giveaway winner number one is going to get. I already had my modelo and I already poured it into my Michelada mix. So that's what I'm going to be sipping on. I also have some of these Cheeto flavor shots. Which I probably will even eat. <laughs> on instagram what your assumptions are and i'm just going to pick a few and i have them right here assumption number one you're having baby number three bitch if you guys want to know i'm pregnant i am expecting baby number three psych <laughs> we are not expecting baby number three um we've talked about it multiple times I've thought about tying my tubes, whether I want to or not. If, like, later down the road, I want another kid or he wants another kid. He does want another one. But mentally, I don't think I could do a third one. Like, I got birdie with the two that I have. And I know once they get older, they're going to get worse. So, I'd rather just stick with my boy and my girl. I have a couple. So, I don't need another one. You're a freak. Well, mine didn't stay around this long for nothing. I'm just kidding. Um, I like to keep my personal bed stuff in the bedroom with my mans. That is between him and I. And if you guys want to know, there's a reason there's two kids. That's all you're going to get. Next one, not an assumption, but you'd love to spoil people that you love. Definitely a yes. I like when I make my own money. I like to give to everybody I love. I ha if my friend, if I want to go do my nails and my friends know how many, I'll vouch out for them. When I used to go out a lot and my homegirls didn't have dresses to wear, we would go and buy some. Um, makeup, I would buy for my friends if they didn't have any. Because sometimes I know, I know what it's like not to have anything. Um, and not be able to ask somebody, hey, can you buy me this? Like, I know what it's like. So... Yes, I do definitely like to spoil people I love. Juan knows it firsthand. The first year we met, I hella cashed out on him. I bought him a luxury wash. I bought him hella clothes. I bought him shoes. I bought him everything. So definitely that is um, very true. I do like to spoil people I love, whether it's something um, money-wise or if it's just taking them to eat. Like... A lot of people know I love to take my homegirls, my cousins, my everybody to eat if I have the money. Like, let's go eat. Um, you will fight a hoe. I will fight anybody. But, it depends now because I am a mom. Um, I could take, get my kids taken away. So, that is something I take into a lot of consideration before I lay hands on somebody. Especially somebody... That I know is a bitch. I will call the cops. That's something I will not fuck up on. My kids come first. Sorry guys. My mouth is dry. My kids come first. So I do think now. Before I lay hands on somebody. Um, before I didn't give a fuck. Because I was under 18. So chances are nothing was going to happen to me. So I would fight any bitch. Whenever. However. Like dead ass. I will do that. But now it's different. Because I'm a mom. Don't get me wrong, though. I will fuck a bitch up. But if I know she's going to call the cops or try and do some bullshit, yeah, no, I will not lay my hands on them. Um, You're a bitch when somebody first meets you. I am not a bitch. I may look like a bitch. I am not. I am one of the, like, funniest people. Or, like, I am just a good vibe. Like, everybody knows this. Like, well, the people I used to party with know this. I can make friends like this. Even when I'm sober, when I'm drunk, especially when I'm drunk, I've been making friends with everybody and anybody. Um, so I'm definitely not a bitch. I'm, I feel like I'm a really good person, but I've been fucked over a lot. So yeah, I sometimes put that wall and I, it's not that I doubt people's intentions, but I do definitely, um, question their motives. Uh, the next one, you're stuck up. No, this goes back into the other one. 
I am not stuck up. I feel like I'm a good time. And if you know me, um, you guys know I really don't like to be a negative Nancy. I try and be really upbeat, really happy. So, yeah, I am not stuck up. Like, you could come up to me and, pre like, we could pretend we've known each other forever. Like, I am not one of those people that would be like, oh, bitch, like, no, we can't be friends. Okay, and this is going to be the last one so that I could jump in and tell you guys what I got for the first place winner. Um, How are you doing mentally? Mentally, I'm drained. Emotionally, I am drained too. Um, My depression is way too much for me sometimes where I feel like... um. I can't do it like I can't get myself enough um, space to get out like I feel like uh, how do I explain this I don't have any motivation at all when my depression gets to me because the circumstances that my that I'm in right now like I have a lot of bullshit going on in my life and that's what makes me need to reevaluate who I have in my life now um, I need to put myself first. Definitely, I need to do that. Like, I need to fix me. I need to do what I need to do for the sake of my kids as well. Because my kids need a mom. Like, a good mom. Like, I can't just, um, you know, I need to do what I need to do for my kids. And at this point, like, I'm really willing to give up anything and everything to make sure that my kids are good. Like... A lot of the drama that I'm going through in my life is unnecessary. It's childish. It's shit that is fucking high school. Like, I'm not no high school bitch no more. I'm fucking almost 24. I'll be 24 in like three days. Like, I don't need no more bullshit in my life. Like, bruh, I've been through enough my whole entire life. Like, I don't need it no more. But I do appreciate you checking in on me. And I do appreciate those little assumptions. That's all I wanted to answer. Just to make this video a little bit fun. But I know what you guys are here for. So let's jump into what I got the first place winner. So I got this. Um, it's an eyeshadow. It's a foiled pigment. And this is from Makeup Geek. Um, and it's in this really nice burgundy look, like shade. Oh, I just love it. And I got two more of them. I got this really nice white. This will look so pretty. Like whoever wins this, do a look with it and send it to me so I can put it on my page. As well as this brown, which is really good right now for the fall winter vibes. I also got a mascara. This is the Maybelline, the Mega Plush. I also got you a Colossal. And I also got you a Falsies. So those are the three mascaras that I got you. I'm just trying to put it all right here so that I could. And then I got you two lipsticks. I got you the NARS Orgasm, which is a very favorite of a lot of YouTubers. And I also got you the KKW in the shade nude number five um i am just gonna open these and show you guys they're not gonna be used i'm just gonna show you guys the shades so it comes in this really nice bottle and it's this nice nude so that's the first one of lipsticks these are not used i just got them for you guys um but i do want to show you guys like what they look like and whatnot. Well, whoever wins this is lucky because I like this shade Orgasm. I can't even open it. Oh, this is a, a lot of people's favorite. Like, so when it comes in this nice packaging, nice velvet packaging, and this is what the shade looks like. It's another nude, which is good right now for the winter. Um. These are good whenever you do a very deep eye look and you want a subtle lip. Now, moving on to lashes. I got you guys, I got whoever wins two pairs of lashes. The Lily Lash in the Style Miami. A lot of people's favorites. This is what they look like. 
I also got the House of Lashes in the shade, in the shade, in the Juliet. Um, these are more subtle than these, but these are, oh my god, these are so beautiful. I love those. I'm going to go on to some skin stuff that I got. Um, this is e.l.f. and it comes with three steps to clear pores. I started using this and my nose looks so much better. Like, I get a lot of blackheads and because it's three, it, you have to put the first one, then the second, then the third. And oh my god, this is amazing. I also got you the e.l.f. Hydrating Hydro Gel Under Eye Mask. This is good for when your eyes are puffy, like under. Um... That's what I use that one for, like, when I wake up and my eyes are puffy and I have to get ready. And then I use this um, one as well. It's the Charcoal Hydro Under Eye Mask. And this one's good when you just need um, a little bit of, uh, when you have, because you have dark circles. So when you put it, it kind of helps that um, missionary go away. So those three are also in it. Um, and then I also got you, the big winner. Um, the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. This is one of my favorites. This is my go-to when I just want a nice shade of bronze. Now, I also got this Real Techniques brushes. These are a lot of the ones I use. Um, this is the one that I use to brush off my foundation. Uh, my foundation. My powder or when I need to apply more powder. This one here is the one that I use to blend out my crease this one's a highlighting brush and this one i use when i use cream contour and then you come with a sponge so that is now two palettes i got four palettes for this winner i got the two ColourPop butterfly me's this is a flutter and this is butter me up and i'm gonna show you guys how beautiful they are i had to get these i love butterflies if you know i have them tattooed all over me so this is the first one. I'm not going to take off the plastic. But oh my god. Tell me these shades are not gorgeous. I wanted to keep it for myself. But I was like. No. I'm going to give it to my winner. My number one winner. Okay. Now. In a flutter. I really like that purple one. For when you want to do something a little bit more dramatic. And this one's more for neutrals. And oh my god, it's beautiful. This is something you would want to use when you don't want it too dramatic, but you want to look glam. So definitely love this palette. I love ColourPop. The pigment is great for the price. And you also get this one. Now, you also get the ABH um, Norvina Mini Palette. So this is beautiful. I couldn't find the big ones. I was going to do one big one, but this is all they had. And this is beautiful. So definitely like this. This is more um, when you really want to go in with the dramatic, colorful look. Definitely like this one. And your very last product is a Julius Place palette. I was looking at this one and oh my god. It's beautiful. So let me, this one's going to be harder to open because it has tape so, so that I can show you guys. So I'm going to have to cut it. So sorry to the winner. It's going to be open, but it's because I want to show you guys how beautiful this is. Okay. So this is, everything here is going to be new. I just want to show you the winner, what it's going to look like. So it's this palette and ready? This is a beautiful palette. I wish I could swatch this. I swatched it at Ulta and this color right here, this blue, oh, it's to die for. So, yes, this is all for the first place winner. The other two winners, I'm going to show you guys in the next couple videos what I'm giving you guys. Um... I also wanted to give the first place winner a makeover. So, whenever you needed me to go to California or to do it here, you would just DM me a date so that I can make it happen. So, you are getting these four palettes. A butter bronzer, two pair of luxury lashes, 
two lipsticks. It's gonna be hard to put. Brushes. Three skincare products. It's gonna be hard. Three foil pigments, which I want you guys to send me looks when you do, and woo, as well as three mascara. The other one fell. But that is for the first place winner. Like I said, I put up on my Instagram what the rules are to join. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you are liking every video in the 25 days of christmas make sure you're commenting on every 25 days of christmas the person that i see the most is gonna be the one who wins the first place um giveaway besides that um i am gonna be posting the winner on the 25th day of christmas and that's gonna be posted on my instagram so make sure you are following me there and if you wanted to see how i got this look i will be posting the video tomorrow so make sure you're ready for that so, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And good luck on the giveaway.